Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about pre-orders. A lot of you have questions about pre-orders as well as, you know, should I pre-order, should I wait? Um, really depends on what you're pre-ordering. If you're pre-ordering cards at a dollar to two dollars, then go ahead. I mean, the price is not going to tank anytime soon. Uh, the price will be pretty stable, I would say, for like a dollar, two dollars. But if you're pre-ordering something like Narset, and Narset I'm going to highlight in particular because obviously that was a fine. I was a card I'm very familiar with. I opened a foil one, and then a regular one, and then like some more regular ones, and I got rid of her like this. So we'll talk about Narset in particular, but again, the question kind of comes down to what are you ordering? If you're ordering any card over $15, be extremely careful, because those cards might not keep their price. But a card at $5, $10, I don't know, it seems like a decent enough uh, price range that you wouldn't lose all that much money, right? Uh, the next type of pre-order is where are you pre-ordering from? I typically do not like to pre-order from smaller stores and here's why. A lot of times they will not open boxes. I know my store, both of my stores do not open boxes. They just assume that they can buy it in from people opening boxes and sometimes they run out of stock. And it's not because they're, you know, being extremely mean and they're trying to like wait for the price to go up and then decide whether or not they want to ship it. It's just because they don't have stock. And you might be like, oh, they should open uh, booster boxes to get more stock. And that is definitely not what they are going to do. I'm going to tell you many times I've asked them, hey, why don't you just open a booster box? And they said, no, we would never do that because it's a loss of money for us. So pre-orders are generally very high. They're overpriced especially at you know larger websites like Star City Games, their pre-ordering price is probably uh, higher than typical. But at the same time, these smaller stores might have lower prices, but it's not really worth it. So there's a few stores that I'm very happy to pre-order from, uh, one of them being in Houston, and I just pre-ordered it. I actually probably just do it on the phone because the website, I don't understand how to use their website. Um, I, I mean, I guess I could use it, but it doesn't seem safe to me <laughs> in any regard. So I just give them, I make a list of the stuff I want to order and then their price. And then I send an email and then they, and then I call them to confirm that they have my email. Because again, no one checks the email in this place ever. And that's it. And that's how I got, got my uh, voices. That's how I got my uh, angel, Archangels of Prune. And that's how I got my Elspeths. Well, same, same store. Pretty much, right? So pre-ordering, I, I would say if it's like 2 to $5 for a card, go ahead, pre-order it. If it's more expensive, be extremely careful. Uh, be extremely careful. Once a price gets over $10, as a pre-order, it's because of hype. Generally, it's because of hype. Most cards, I would say 90% of cards from their pre-order price go down. Maybe not even 95. That's just the truth. So if you're trying to make money from pre-orders, that's not something that is, in my opinion, uh, very logical because you're gambling and you're not even gambling like if you gambled on Snap or Lily or Calvin or Ink Moth, that's a safe, much safer gamble than a pre-order gamble because a pre-order has hype. When I gambled on Calvin and Snap and all those cards, they were at the bottom. So there wasn't really anywhere to go. I mean, at the worst, they just keep flat. Uh, Black Cleave Cliffs, as well as the uh, other one. I mean, it just, it just logically you have to consider pre-orders extremely foolish unless you love a card. And it's a card I love in this new set. I just gotta wait for its price to settle. I think it's a little high right now. Um, but once it gets closer, I feel like it will drop a little lower. And that's because it is triple white. Um, triple white makes it very difficult to play in most decks but that gives me an opportunity to maybe snag a bunch at a cheaper price. So pre-ordering, largely a bad idea, but if you want the cards, if you want them, you know, come in time, you want to play Friday Night Magic at the cards, when the cards the first week they come out, yeah, pre-orders kind of make sense. Uh, they definitely make a lot of sense, but pre-order from some place that is, you know, medium size. So with the best price, um, and as well as you know, just also like guaranteeing the supply is super important, right? That's really, really important. 
So anyway, let me know in the comments below what cards you want to uh, discuss about pre-ordering. Obviously, I just named the one that I'm considering right now. I have ordered zero of them as of this video. And the price is just a little tad too high. I mean, it's not like super high, but it's high enough that I'm a little concerned about what I would want her to find a deck in modern. And then I'm going to pull the trigger and buy a ton of them. But until I see a deck list, which I'm like, oh, well, this card fits in this deck list. I'm thinking hate bears or mono white, but those are not really popular decks in modern. Bye, guys.